What's up guys, it's Kaiba on the Renegade. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This time we're going to be doing this room in uh, the Woodfall Temple. And from there we're going to battle the boss, meet up with a great fairy, and do a few other things. So, yeah. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, last time we got trapped in an infinite loop by a fucking spider dick. Yeah, that guy. Is that all of them? Did I get them? I got them. I'm gonna get you too, because your bug friend pissed me off. Ah, oh, I keep missing. There we go. I got him. I killed them all. That's what you should do, kids. Remember, if you're ever having a disagreement, kill them. I'm I'm gonna get in so much trouble for saying that, aren't I? Someone's gonna be like, "You told my kids to do what?" And I'm gonna be like, "Kill their enemies, duh." What else would they do? It's not like they should make friends or be passive aggressive or anything like that. Because we don't want any more dicks in the world. Also, how the fuck do I get over there? From that one? I think it's from that one. Am I capable of just getting over there? It looks a little tiny bit too long. Yeah, it is. Also, there's no flower on this one. What the fuck? Okay, how do I... Oh, right, right, I forgot, it's been too long, I'm getting old, apparently, which is sad, because I still remember every fucking dungeon of Ocarina of Time inside and out, and I like this game so much better, and I can't even complete Stone Tower and get everything, then again, that's probably why I like this game better is because I can't just sit there and ah, I know what I'm doing ah. like through our master quest LP ah damn it I have to wait for that thing don't I through Kabini and mine's master, master quest LP we spent I spent almost probably 80 percent of the time playing because I knew what to do at least in the overworld to progress everything. I knew absolutely everything I needed to do. And he didn't. So I did it. I mean, it wasn't like it was a big deal or anything, but... I think I'm supposed to land here. And then come over here, use this flower quickly. And get over to that one. But I don't think I've ever actually done it that way. <laughs> I, I think I just found some different way. Get in the flower. Thank you. I did not want to get burned to death. Because if you get hit with fire as Deku Link, it's insta-death. Because who the fuck cares? I assume it's just because he's probably made of wood. But I don't actually know. And... Nailed it. So let's chop up this pot. Okay, we're good to go. So, what are we... What's that fat beat? What's that lag? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's just a doll one. The only boss who chants his own name. I did not want to get caught up on the flounder. 
So, um, a doll was fairly simple. Uh, he is what he says he is. He's a masked swordsman. Damn it. Also, any hit he delivers to you will send you fucking flying. Uh, the main thing you really need to do... Ah, fuck. Stop dancing! No one gave you permission to dance! The main thing to do with a doll was that I always did as a kid was, uh, try to get up on him and, uh, do the attack button, because if you hit his legs with it, he'll get dizzy for some reason. So then we go back and shield. Ow! I can't believe he kicked me. Um, so we need to be careful here real shortly because he will uh, set the room on fire and we don't want to be Deku Link when that happens. Where did he go? There you are. Oh god, that was close. We ended up in the same fire as him, which is fantastic. Ow! Who do you think you are singing La Cucaracha? That's not the time, Adalwa. Also, these guys will leave you alone if you're Deku Link. Um, but again, the fire is a serious danger if you're Deku Link, because if you get hit with the fire, you will have to start this fight over. I believe. I could be mistaken. So you want to keep a good eye on him. This is not the time for La Cucaracho. You're dying, sir. And mind you, Adal was only the first to use annoying, I'm going to surround you tactics. So that you have to keep switching. So as you can see, this is actually going pretty easily. He's not too tough. He is the first boss in the game, technically. Where are you? Oh, he's over there. I mean, look at him. Uh, my favorite part of Adol... He, Adol was probably actually my favorite boss, just because he's so silly. I just love the way he dances. There's so many moths. Get him, get him. He should be almost down. Ow. <laughs> I was hoping for an anime-style uh, sword clash. I hit you, sir. Come on. Stop doing that. Thank you. Got him. Nailed it. Oh! Killed in the shins. Oh, I should have made that joke ages ago. I'm gonna kick you in the shins, Adalwa! <laughs> that would have been fantastic. But anyway, uh, so that's ten minutes of our time gone already uh, for the first room and Adalwa. But anyway, we've got our heart container, and now for the interesting part. In this game, we are collecting remains. That's right, we're collecting dead people. I'm going to stay quiet for this. Because it's actually very pretty music.
sure it's not very pretty music. I like how Tattle's secretly a bell. Actually, Tattle's secretly many bells. I need to open my disk drive. We learn the Oath to Order. By the way, yes, it's supposed to look really weird here. Don't worry about it. He does kind of look like he's taking a bubble bath. Call us. That's what it's saying. Mmm, Kool-Aid. Were we in the temple for two episodes or three? I feel like it was three. But I don't know. Maybe it was only two. Either way, we have some more stuff to do first. Before we head out. Because there's stuff to do. And by the way, this is the first LP I'm actually attempting to plan, because I'm, I'm trying to get 100%. The four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Yes, I do, Tattle. Oh, hey, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this thing before, or what? Kind of. Only I was an adult for the most part. Stop repeating the same animation, Tattle. This isn't an anime. Tattle. Tattle. Tattle! This isn't an anime. But we have more to do before we go to the mountains. There will be like far... I don't know. There will be a few episodes in between actually going to the mountains. And right now. Hello. How are you? You're tiny. I am an adventurer. Good to meet you. I was asked by the monkey. Doesn't that sound like a strange sentence? You bitch! And Link was just like, yeah, yeah, I do smell like a monkey. I take very good care in my hygiene, madam. Alright, let's head out. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be silly? Um. Kinda. Let's just say he's dunking the monkey. Carry you? Why can't you just walk? I'm, I'm a warrior. I'm. Uh, what could I carry her in? I've got this bomb bag. 
That might work. Um, let's see. I'll carry her in the key! Um, I would put her in the bottle, but there's a fairy in there. Do you like fairies? Where did it go? Ah, you fit in there perfectly. You put the Deku Princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. Well, let's take all our sweet fucking time. I like how her shadow's still on the ground. I never noticed that as a kid. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. With our new heart container and such. So, first thing we want to do is go Deku straight away. And, uh, head to our left. Because... You might not recognize that spot, but that's just because we came in from that door before. Um, so we're gonna just head out this way and be all deku -y about it, because why not? Whoops. I miss the flowers way too often. Also, I didn't plan out my time well enough, because I thought that by the time I had finished Woodfall, that would be three episodes, and I planned on doing three episodes, and I have another episode to do, I think. I'm not sure. But if I do have another episode to do, then, well, I need to do another episode. And if I need to do another episode, then I need to do another episode. So let's fly over there, into that big hole in the wall that resembles something very familiar. Although we'll never know what it resembles until I let's play Ocarina of Time on this one. And by on this one, I mean on this channel. And I'd much rather face her as a human, because that's my native gender. That's two great fairies in two episodes, now that I think about it. Although, technically, we got the first one on the first episode. Yeah, you're welcome. We get this new sword technique! Yay! It's called dizziness plus... Oh, fuck. It's called Roofies! There we go! I couldn't think of it. That ruined my joke. You don't remember anything! You mastered the spin attack! Press and hold B to build up power in your weapon! Release B and you'll unleash a whirlwind of energy! I honestly couldn't believe that they didn't teach in Wind Waker that you can just spin the joystick and press B. Maybe he teaches that to you when you learn the grade spin. But I mean, why waste your magic when it doesn't use any for an equally slash possibly more powerful spin attack? And it it just doesn't make any sense. This is faster to do. Ah. I suppose it is a slight bit game-breaking, because you can literally walk up to something like, oh hey, oh, I did it wrong, but you get my point. That's not what I wanted to do. So anyway guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we will be returning the Deku Princess and rescuing the monkey. Um, because we have to do those things. So anyway, I'm Kaib on the Renegade. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you really like this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. I meant to hit the wall. And I'll see you guys next time. There we go.